everybody, along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Cebulski. Welcome to the Shark Tank here in San Jose. The Oilers have a chance to win it all tonight if they can close things out as we send it down ice level with Ray Ferraro. Toughest chores to focus just on the game, on your first shift, on your second shift. Once you're in, you're okay, but it must be hard not to think about oh, the championship at definitely. the end of the day. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. Don't you just love playoff hockey? Listen to this place. Let's get after it. The Sharks have the puck in the corner. Takes the pass. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pugliarvi. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Taken along the wall by Hurdle. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. And as he stumbles, he coughs up the puck. Moves it to Pugliarvi. It's a two-on-one. Wrists one. Flashes the leather by Dubnik. Yeah, he flashes the leather there to make the stop on a really difficult chance. Still plenty of time left in this frame. The game is still scoreless. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Yamamoto's got it along the wing. He grabs the puck here at the point. Yamamoto's taking it from his own end. Down the right side and into the zone. Here's a chance out front. And that one's broken up. Taken by Couture. Moves along the boards with some purpose. With the steal. Edmonton's moving it along the wing. Grabbed along the board by Carlson. And now he moves it to Meyer. San Jose's got it in the offensive zone. Excellent stick work on the play. Tosses it to Jones. Edmonton's moving it up the ice. Yamamoto's got the puck. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Great stop by Dubnik. And that's blocked away. Quick pass to Carlson. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Penalty coming up as the whistle stops the play. Dreisaitl's been called for holding. Pretty tough to argue when you've got your hand wrapped around the guy's arm. Penalty for holding. Here's a first look at the power play. Well, the first power play shows up. Now you've got to take advantage of it. You've got one more man. Move the puck. Get some chances. See if you can break the scoreless tie. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Drives it to the crease. Scores! A short-handed goal! Well, you're just trying to kill the penalty off. This is terrific work as they take advantage of a little bit of a bobble and they go ahead and capitalize short-handed. No way sometimes for the goalie to catch up to the pass. It's too quick. It's one-timed into the net. Edmonton's got that lead. They were talking about wanting to quiet that home crowd here. Well, they certainly did. Out of the gate quickly. A couple of shifts. Now they're up 1-0. Kara's won it. Puck scooped up by Nurse. Quick feed to Kara. They've got numbers. It's a two-on-one. Denied that one. And he slides it quickly to Donato. San Jose's got him along the wall. Puck battle along the boards. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. Oh, what a missed chance that was. Yeah, he's got to make a better play there. He's done everything right. Now you just got to get the puck on the tape. And a successful clearing attempt. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Oh, great read as he pokes it away. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. 1-0 the score. 
And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Picked up along the boards by Kane. Here's a short pass to LeBanc. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Koskinen. Oh, and another big stop. Really sharp. Never loses sight of the puck to make the second save. The centermen glide into position. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Takes a shot, and he comes up with it. Trying to get back on the attack now. Another stop by the goaltender. He's sharp on this one. Out on top of the crease aggressively to make the save. Edmonton's got it along the wall. Slides the puck over. The Sharks look to start the transition game. Moves it over to Hurdle. Handles the puck. Oh, and he just puts it wide of the net. You don't get the puck dead center very often. He's got to capitalize. You wonder if that'll come back to haunt them. San Jose's got it in the neutral zone. And a delayed penalty coming up as he got tripped up. Dismiss that chance. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. And here's the official call as play is whistled dead. Tripping is the call. Did he sell or is that the right one in your mind? I think it's the right one. He looks like he's picking up speed and the stick gets into his feet. San Jose's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. There have been times over the last couple of weeks where this power play looks great, other times not so good. But this is a key moment in this game, a chance to tie it up with the man advantage. Slides the puck across to Turris. On the attack along the boards. Shot on net, and he makes the save. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Now a quick pass to Donato. The Sharks take it across the blue line. Moves it quickly over to Marlowe. Here's a chance right in front. Oh, what a slick stop by Koskinen. Had to be sharp. That's a great A chance. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Receives the pass. Moves it to Marlowe. And the lane's clogged up blocking that. Puck cleared from the defensive end. The Sharks scoop it up along the boards. Sends it quickly to Couture. Puck grabbed by Kane. Tremendous read as he pokes it away with the paddle. Power play is over. Both teams back to even strength. Well, there are times you look for your power play at the very least to gain a little momentum. They needed a goal. Now they still trail by one back to even strength. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Oilers lead it 1 0. McDavid's won the faceoff. Takes the feed. And now he angles it across to Pugliarvi. Nugent Hopkins plays the puck. Scrum ensues along the boards. The Oilers go to work on offense. Stopped by the goaltender. And now it's grabbed by Nugent Hopkins. He scores! Jumps on the rebound and buries it! That's a bad place to burp up the puck right there. And unfortunately for him, the shooter makes no mistake. It's a perfect shot inside the post. Edmonton's now up by two here in this first. And they deserve to be. They've been the better team, and they've capitalized on the opportunities that they've had offensively. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. Close save, and he made it look simple. Time of the goal. He's really enjoying the spotlight of being one of the league leaders in goals. You take more responsibility, you have to produce, and he seems to embrace it all. The Sharks are still trailing here in this first period despite the opportunities they've had. Donato's won the faceoff deep inside the offensive zone. Big stop!
past the midway mark in this period. Edmonton's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Sharks have it against the wall. Misses a golden opportunity there. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Oh, boy. Here comes a three-on-one. He scores! On the rebound, lights the lamp for the goal. Oh, they're going to look at this on video and not be very happy with it. They turned the puck over, and now the odd man rush develops. They can't get back to stop it. Puck possession so critical. Another face-off coming up here. The Sharks have been a mess since the puck hit the ice for the first time tonight. Some days you just don't have it. Hammers a shot. Oh, what a save with the glove. 11 minutes, 4 seconds. Puck picked up by Cahoon. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Picked up along the wall by Middleton. Quick pass to Cahoon. Back to the point it goes. Turns him away. Now, positionally, he's in the right spot here. That's a hard shot. He made it look rather easy. Great read by the winger to take possession with the two centermen tied up. Nice zone entry from the right side. Quick shot. Oh, what a blocker stop by Koskinen. Big play inside the defensive zone. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Nice speed from the left side up the middle. Moves the puck. Stick save by Koskinen. Sharp reaction save. And now it's over to Neal. Pass to Ennis. Great poke check on the reach. Can't hang on after that hit. Offside is the call that will have a face-off just outside the offensive zone. Every game, he seems to be in the middle of the offense. Seems to be finding a way to create. And he's one of the league leaders in points because of it. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. 3-0 is where we sit. The Oilers win possession here in the open ice. Sends a pass over. Kara's going to play it against the half wall. And it's a quick pass to Barry. What a steal in his own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by LeBanc. An easy save by Koskinen. Jones gets caught on the train tracks, and he's going to take a big hit here. Couture's always been an effort guy. I don't have any worry whether he's going to grind into this game, but they're way down, and they're going to need a lot to happen. Their captain's got to lead the way. Nice job tying up his opponent. The Oilers have it now. Quick feed to Bear. Nugent Hopkins moves it ahead. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Let's get the call here. Tripping is the call, and it's pretty cut and dry, it seems, Ray. Well, it's like you, you're in position, then you're not. You reach out, you trip them up, and there's no way to get out of it now. First chance of the night here on the man advantage. It'll be their initial power play of the evening, James the best power plays they move the puck and move their feet at the same time you'll force the penalty killers back a little more defensively than they'd like to be the Oilers gain possession in their own end here's a short pass to Nugent Hopkins more time off the clock as they grab the puck San Jose's in transition gains the zone through the middle pinned up along the boards the Oilers gain possession along the wall Tries to get it over to McDavid. 
Moves it to Carlson. The Sharks will play it through the neutral zone. Taken by Donato. Moves it quickly over to McDavid. Puck scooped up by Neal. Quick pass to McDavid. Oh, and a little too much air on that one. He's trying to shoot that right next to the goalie's ears. Get it up top, but he shoots it too high. The Oilers get a hold of it. Quick feed to Neal. They don't score on the power play, but they accomplish a little bit here. They melt some time off the clock. They don't need the goal, but they don't want to make any big mistakes. Taken along the wall by Vlasic. And pokes the puck loose inside the offensive end. Deep inside his own end. Right in front. Can he get out of pressure? San Jose's got it across the line. Here's a chance with the stop. Moves it to McDavid. And a nice poke check inside the neutral zone. Pins him against the boards as they battle for the loose puck. San Jose's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Meyer. Here's a chance, a two-on-one. Gives them nothing in front. The Sharks must be feeling a little snake bitten, trailing in the late stages of the first. Hurdles won the draw here in the offensive zone. Right in front! Hurdles caught with the stick, and the officials are signaling for a hooking penalty. Larson's going off for hooking. Even though he's going to argue this, I mean, there's nothing to argue about. His stick gets across the player's midsection. It's a penalty. San Jose's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. It's never much fun being on the ice for a shorthanded goal against. They'll have to go and try and fix that right now. Jones moves the puck. And they'll get it out of the defensive end. Trying to get something going here with this man advantage as they start from their own end. Knocks the puck away in the open ice. You'll need more than that to beat him. McDavid's played so well in this point streak, you know he wants to pile on it. Just here in the late stages of this frame, 3-0 is where we sit. One team really enjoying this night, the other, not so much. And the puck clears the zone. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Nice poke check. And the puck is cleared to a safer spot. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. And he coughs it up with the pass. Oh, what a save with the stick by Dubnik. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. Edmonton's penalty killers get a hold of it. They get it out of the defensive end. There's the horn. You could have replaced it with a white flag based on the score of this one after the first 20. Feeling hungry? Try our arena restaurant for gourmet dining with free meals of the action. Or get a light meal at one of our many grill locations on the concourse. Both teams heading down the tunnels. We'll take a quick breath ourselves and be back for the second period.
And the official seems about ready to drop the puck on period number two. Edmonton's shorthanded unit has done a solid job to this point. Just a few more seconds to spare as they win the draw. Kane's got it along the boards. Here's a chance right in the slot. Stones him in front. Certain saves are more difficult than others. This one right from the slot is turned aside. James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. Edmonton's got a 3-0 lead. They have been in control right from the start. San Jose's got it, and they're on the attack. The Oilers move it ahead, and we'll get a face-off as the puck goes out of play. The Sharks have had more scoring opportunities to this point, but they continue to trail early in this second period. The Oilers win the faceoff. And he slides it quickly to Bear. And that pass goes awry. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. Battling for it along the boards. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes a shot. Oh, you can't miss that. Now, somehow I got 408, James. You don't get any if you don't hit the net. Get it on target, man. Puts it to the front of the net. And that one's blocked. The Oilers move the puck in the defensive zone. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Pugliarvi. Puck knocked loose after that hit. Feeds it to Kane. Here's an odd man rush. Comes up with the stop. Beat the goaltender, but couldn't beat the post. The Sharks hit the goalpost there, but James, I don't know how much that's really going to help them anyway. They're so far down. Oh, look at that. Here we go. We got a penalty coming up right here. Edmonton's on the attack. The official signaling for a penalty as play is called. The Sharks have been penalized, holding the call. He's trying to slow him up, trying to impede his progress a little bit, but he gets too much of a grab, and now he'll go to the box. The Oilers once again send out their power play unit. The best power plays are the ones that are successful after they've failed. They haven't been very good tonight, but you have to watch that away, not let it affect the current power play. And that's blocked. Grabs the puck here in their own end. Sorensen's got it through center. Here's a short pass to Donato. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. Getting a little too physical to maintain possession. Angles it over to McDavid. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. And puts it just wide. The goalie was late reacting. If that puck hits the net, I think it's in. And now he moves it to Vlasic. And he regains control of the puck. Here's a shot, turned aside with a glove. Koskinen's been sharp stopping the puck tonight. He's got a really good save percentage, and his team's done a good job at the offensive zone as well. The Sharks haven't had a lack of scoring opportunities, but they are still behind on the scoreboard. Nugent Hopkins wins the faceoff. There's the physical side. San Jose's looking to break out. Tries to get the puck over to Couture. The Sharks will play it against the wall. I don't believe the coaches are going to be too worried about this. They didn't score on the power play, but I think it's most important that they didn't give anything up. They've got such a nice lead. The coaches are more focused on making sure this game plays out comfortably. Moves it to Pugliarvi. Nowhere for that shot to go through. Middleton's picking up steam. Here's a shot. Makes the save. Whoa. He scores! Oh, with the goaltending on the other side, you're never dead. They're now down by two. position that puck's got to be off your stick in a hurry you don't have much time to think about it the sharks have shown some life here in the second it's about time james they're down two they've got a long way to go to claw back into this 
They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. And a puck check knocks the puck away. Couldn't find the intended target. Picks up the puck in his own end. And now he moves it quickly to Meyer. Pokes it away in his own end. Edmonton's got the puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Couture. Great save by Koskinen. The Sharks have had a lot of good looks offensively, but they still trail in the second. Locks them up on the draw as they take possession. Throws it in. San Jose's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice pass. Good heads up play in the defensive zone. Answered the call there. Back to the blue line. A shot, and that one stopped. Koskinen's strength is technically he is outstanding. Here's a save, and the puck's in the corner. And couldn't find the intended receiver on that one. Shimmick's got control of it now behind the cage. Strong use of the body to force the puck loose. Good defensive effort to poke it away. San Jose's got the puck along the wall. From the point, they take control of it. Moves it quickly over to Burns. And now he angles it across to LeBanc. Sends the pass over. LeBanc's been brought down, and we're going to get a penalty here. Quick pass to Hurdle. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Oh, what a stop by Koskinen. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Ennis is caught for the trip, and he's going on a trip to the penalty box. Reaching for the puck, trying to be in position. You're just a little bit away, and then you get nabbed for tripping. Yeah, it's always tough to use the I got stuck excuse, right? It never works. The Sharks send their man advantage unit out once more. You can always tell when the power play hasn't had many chances. Those guys are hungry. They get over the boards in a hurry. Quick feed to Marlowe. Close save, and he handles it with ease. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Edmonton's got a 3-1 lead. The Oilers get a hold of the puck in their own end. Here's a chance to get it out. Big win for the shorthanded unit as they clear the puck from the zone. Yeah, no one's going to keep it in the zone when it goes off the glass at that speed. San Jose's moving it into the offensive end. A little dipsy doodle and he loses possession of the puck. There are times you try to do too much. He's got good hands, but maybe a more simple play is the right one there. Can't keep a hold of it as he's jostled off the puck. Takes the pass. With possession along the wall. Snaps it on net. Denies him in front. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Chaps the puck away. They clear the zone. Slides the puck over to Carlson. Slides it across to Marlowe. Strong defensive effort. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And manages to clear the zone. Both sides back to even strength. A great effort by the penalty killers there. Answered the call on that play. Slowly they start to take the momentum away from the other team. They get a power play and this PK unit has been perfect. Well, that's going to be a penalty. They're going to have to call that. Edmonton's on the attack. Can't connect. Picked up along the boards by Dreisaitl. Chase right in front. Paddled away by Dubnik. And the parade to the penalty box will continue as play is called for yet another penalty. A little too much stick and body hooking up on this one, hence booking on the call. Yeah, I, I didn't think this was a difficult call for the official to make at all. They'll go back to work on their special teams. You can't just shoot the puck and think you're going to beat the goalie cleanly all the time. I think this power play will be more effective, James, if they can get traffic in front. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Dumps it in. The Oilers have it behind the cage. Edmonton's got the puck at center. Stays with it. Handles the bank pass from along the boards. From point blank, great stick save by Dubnik. Smothered that in close chance.
San Jose's been the busier team offensively with way more shots on goal, but they still trail in the second. Nugent Hopkins has won the draw. Slides the puck over. Couture's got it in the defensive end. And now it's over to Vlasic. The Sharks move to the offensive zone. Dumps it in. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Puck grab by Neal. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Oh, absolutely owns the crease tonight. I like the goalie's positioning here. He was aggressive enough to make a save on a dangerous chance. Gains the zone from the right side. The Oilers run out of time on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. His reflexes on display tonight. Oh, man, what a good power play, but it doesn't change the big numbers up on the score clock. Couldn't score, but all kinds of chances. Oh, he flashed the pad out to make an excellent save. Past the halfway mark of this period, Edmonton's got a 3-1 lead as they have dominated for the most part in this. The Oilers win the draw. The Sharks have it against the wall. Here's a short pass to Shimmick. Kane's working it around in the corner. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. And now it's grabbed by Dreisaitl. Strong defensive effort. Bumped off the puck. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Moves it to LeBanc. That's taken away. Great defensive effort there. From the spot. Oh, that goes just wide. Looks like a little panic set in there, James. You've got to love those gifts. And, oh, he's going to be regretting that one. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Takes a shot and makes the save. Moves it quickly over to Cahoon. From the left side, they enter the offensive zone. That pass doesn't go. Comes up with the stop. Koskinen's right on top of this scoring chance. Nowhere for the puck to go. The Sharks have had no shortage of good looks so far tonight, but they still trail here as we approach the second intermission. Good read by the winger as the two setters tie up. Textbook stop by Dubnik. In the final moments of this period, it's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Edmonton's won the faceoff. Here's a shot, and too much traffic in front blocks that one. Quick pass to Middleton. And he slides it quickly to Marlowe. They go on the attack from the left side. Good hit to knock the puck loose. Nothing doing on that. Cross-corner dump in. The Oilers get a hold of the puck along the boards. Chase on gaining momentum. From the right side, he goes to the middle of the neutral zone. And that one's turned away. The setters will glide into the dot. Swoops in off the wing to grab the puck after the centerman tied him up. Now a quick pass to Couture. San Jose's got it against the boards. Sends it over to Nurse. There's the whistle. Offside is the call. Couture's won the face off deep inside the offensive zone. He was locked in there. Couture's won the draw. Back at the point, they set it up. Quick feed to Meyer. Takes a shot. Denied by Koskinen.
The Sharks have had their chances, but they still trail late in the second. And they take possession. Nice job. Scores! No chance for the puck stopper on that one. It's really good work offensively as they grind away till that opening shows up. And that's the one-timer from the low slot. The Sharks get a much-needed goal here late in the second, Razor. Put themselves within striking distance. You want to give yourself a chance. They've done that. The Oilers win it. Puck picked up by Nurse. Sends it over to Pugliarvi. The Oilers play it along the wing. Here's a short pass to Nurse. Handles the puck. Into the corner. 17 minutes, 42 seconds. Takes a feed at the point. Picked up along the wall by McDavid. Just can't complete that pass. Oh, he's got the right play in mind. He just doesn't execute the final pass. Here in the late going of the frame, San Jose's shown a new energy over these last few minutes. They got one back, but they still need one more in order to tie. And it's a quick pass to Nurse. Move to the middle. On the doorstep. Here's a chance. He gets a piece of it with a stick. Now, by being in the right position, James, he gets so tight to the shooter. There's nowhere for the puck to go. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Nearing the 40-minute mark of the game. One minute left in the second period. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Ennis plays it now. Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Sends it in deep. The Sharks will play the puck from behind the net. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. San Jose's got one last chance to make something happen before the end of the period. And that's picked off. Edmonton's playing it through the neutral zone. Let's it go. Drops that puck tight into his chest. San Jose's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Just a friendly reminder about tonight's silent auction. All items can be viewed and bid upon at the display near the guest services counter. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments.
They're ready to drop the puck on period number three. He's Ray Ferro. I'm James Cebulski. Let's do this. Here we go. Put up or shut up for both teams here in this third period. We are underway. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? The Sharks continue to trail, but the good news is it's only by one. Also, the good news is they've had the puck a lot tonight. Maybe they can find the tying goal. Dubnik's been dealing with these scoring chances like he is locked in tonight. Here it's a stick save. The Sharks have been the better team tonight, but they still trail on the scoreboard early in this third period. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Sharks will play it in their own end. Moves it to Hurdle. That knocks him off the puck. Receives the pass. Takes the feed. Passes over to Nugent Hopkins. And a busted stick on the shot. Just wide. That's not an opportune time for that to happen. Big stop by the keeper. Slows him up on the play, and that's going to cost him as the officials caught that one. The call is hooking on the play. This is a penalty of bad positioning. You reach out to try and slow the guy down, you're going to get called almost every time. Edmonton's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, here they go with another power play, James. I mean, they've screwed up the previous ones in just about every imaginable way. Now it's time to wash that and re-attack on the next power play. Taken by Carlson. Nice play, shorthanded as they get control of the puck. Dumps it into the O-zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. Barry's lugging the puck. Takes the feed. Well, yeah, Yarby's been really quiet, James, and there's not many nights that you don't notice him. He doesn't have a goal in the game, really not many chances. They're lucky they're in the game. Deflected away. Nice defensive use of the stick there. Gains the zone through center. Excellent stick work on the play. Battle along the boards. Edmonton's got a hold of it against the wall. Great defensive stick work on the play. Edmonton's in now. Good defensive stop with the poke check. Through center along the wing. Maintains possession. Considered a win for the penalty killers as the power play fails to execute. There's no facet of this penalty kill that has been weak tonight for them. They have been perfect while they've been down a man. From the goaltending to the pressure up the ice, denying entry. It's been an outstanding night for this unit. Musa quickly over to Pugliarvi. And the defenders come up with the puck. Smart heads up play to intercept the pass. And that's picked off in front. Nice zone entry from the left. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. And a strong effort on that play. Each team is looking for an edge, and they have been doing it physically since the very first period. This has been a long night. Still early on in this frame, James and Ray with you. So glad you could join us. Edmonton's got a 3-2 lead at this point. Takes the puck at the point. Scooped up along the wall by Meyer. An easy glove save made by Koskinen. The Sharks have created numerous scoring chances, but they've just run into a hot goalie tonight here early in this third period. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Slides the puck down low. Edmonton's gained possession along the boards. Across the line. Quick pass to Kara. Oh, and that goes wide. Just misses the net, but really the scoring chance is not dangerous if he can't get the puck at the goaltender. And now he tries to get it across to Hurl. Great heads-up play in the defensive zone. Streaking through center, they go on the attack. Hangs onto the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. Trying to get back on the attack now. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Sent into the offensive zone. San Jose's got the puck along the boards. Nice poke check inside the attacking zone. Couldn't connect on that pass. 
Referee singling the late penalty. Looks like hooking will be the call. And the goaltender gets to the bench for the extra attacker. Time for the official to pass down his sentence. Ennis is off to the box, hooking the call. I hated taking these penalties. It meant that I was out of position a little bit. And you have to do something in desperation. Another power play opportunity coming up here. This is a pretty simplistic power play. They like to get the puck, shoot it, crash the net, get it back, and shoot it again. What a great time to have a man advantage as they trail by one. Quick feed to Donato. Denies him! He scores! Now the power play comes through. They move the puck nicely, and they're able to capitalize on the extra man. If he makes that stop, he's going to be on the highlights all day, all week. What an effort. He just can't get there. San Jose's finally made this all square in the third period with a much-needed tying goal. Starts to get frustrating after a while when you do the right things over and over and you never get rewarded finally they score and now in the last half of the period they'll try to impose their win he scores we've got the lead now everybody's up on the bench they've got the energy you want to push forward and by number 48 thomas time of the goal get to the net that's where the goals are the rebound sits there and he puts it away Edmonton's got the one goal lead here in the third. Like lots about the way that they've played, this goal is well earned, and now they have a chance to win this game. Puck scooped up by Larson. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Assisted by number 56, Tyler Edmonton's going to play the puck from behind the cage. Cahoon's dangerous, and it beats the goalie, but can't beat the post. The Sharks move it in. Sends it across. Off a stick. Taken along the wall by Cahoon. Here's a short pass to Larson. Edmonton's got the puck in the defensive end. Tosses it on to Dreisaitl. Couldn't connect, although not exactly an ideal pass to begin with. Made the save on the play. Nearing the midway mark of the period, Edmonton's got a one-goal lead. McDavid's won the draw here in the offensive zone. And he gets a paddle on that one. Puck dumped in. The Oilers scoop it up along the boards. Edmonton's got it in their own zone. Pokes the puck away. Wax it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to McDavid. The Oilers looking against the half wall. Denied by the goaltender. These are positional saves. This is a good scoring chance, and he makes the stop with his stick. San Jose's failed to convert on scoring opportunities, and lots of them here in this third period. The Oilers take possession off the faceoff. Here's a shot, and that's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Rocks him on the play. The Oilers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Couldn't complete the play. Lays into the body. And he slides it quickly to Sorensen. Move to the middle, and the stick breaks. Nothing he can do about it. He's in the right place. He makes the right shot, and the stick is no good. Throw it in the garbage bin. The Oilers have it against the wall. Bears got it in the defensive zone. Slides the puck ahead to Pugliarvi. 
Sends it over. San Jose's got control of it now from their own end. Through the neutral zone and along the boards. Here they come. Puts it in deep. Into the corner now. Centered out in front. Oh, gets a paddle on it. What a stop by Dubnik. Nice move by the goalie to get out close to the shooter. That was a big hit. You've got to be willing to put your own body on the line to make a hit like that. James and Ray with you tonight. More than half the period has been played. Edmonton's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. Sneaks away with the puck after he was tangled up on the draw. The Oilers take possession here in the open ice. And down he goes as the puck goes free. Works it across to Kane. Shot in front! And the puck dies with the trapper save. Oh, he reads the play really well to get out and aggressive to make that save. Play set to resume with the face-off ready to go. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Rocks him. Moves the puck over to chase on. Look out, a two-on-one. Takes it into the slot. Denies him in close. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. The Oilers are in the lead, and now they seem intent on just wearing their opponent down. They've had by far the most physical period. San Jose's got to be frustrated with how things have played out tonight, trailing in this third period. The Sharks win it in the defensive zone. Classic's taking it from his own end. Manages to hang on. Knocked off the puck. Musa quickly over to Nelson. The Oilers gain possession along the wall. With some open space at center. Here's a chance. Puck grabbed by Nieto. And now he moves it quickly to Nelson. And his twig falls on the shot. And that goes wide. The trainer's already got the spare stick hanging over the boards for him. Up along the wing. Nieto's last stick's in the garbage dump. He had to go get a new one. San Jose's got the puck. Beautiful feed up ahead from the right wing side. Takes a nice feed up through the now. Oh, smart heads up play to poke that one away. Stop that one. The Sharks gain control of the puck against the wall. Moves it around along the half wall. Grabbed along the boards by Cahoon. Quick pass to Larson. Enters the offensive zone from the left. The Sharks get a hold of the puck along the boards. Sends a pass over. They've got numbers to his teammate. And there's the save. Koskinen's got the puck, and he'll hang on for the whistle. Well, in a close game, you've got to be in control of things, and he's had an excellent night so far. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. Nice job tying up his opponent. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Meyer. And now he moves it to Burns. And they'll be forced to tag up after that missed pass. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Huge steal in his own end. Here they are on the attack. Keeps hold of the puck. And he can't get it off. Knocked away. Scores! They score back-to-back -back goals. They stay aggressive after getting the first one. They tack another one on here. Two parts to this, James. He gets himself into the low slot in good position, and then he zips a backhander past the tender. Late goings of this period. The Oilers have all the momentum right now, leading by two. San Jose's got a hold of the puck off the draw. The Sharks will play it from the defensive zone. Feeds it on over to Hurdle. And now he angles it across to LeBanc. Takes it from the right side. Big play inside the defensive zone. Quick pass across to Torres. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. 
Koskinen's going to hang on and just let things settle down for a moment. He really didn't have many options to play the puck, but no. in a close game, you want to be sure every time you do. San Jose's running out of time. They need to find a goal here quickly as they trail late in the third. They take possession as he lifts them up off the faceoff. And now it's grabbed by McDavid. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Turn that one aside. A critical draw here. While the centers are jammed up, nice job by the winger to steal the puck. San Jose is looking to break out of their own end. Fires it into the offensive zone. Edmonton's got a hold of it along the wall. No one home on that play. Marlowe's got it in the offensive zone. Ref's arm goes up in the air. Looks like we got a hooking call coming up. Official blows the whistle. Let's see what the call is. And the official signaling for hooking on the play. You gotta move your feet here. You're chasing the play. As soon as you stop your feet, you're gonna get called. Edmonton's got a huge opportunity on this power play. The power play can be so frustrating. When you get an opportunity and it doesn't go well, you start to press pretty quickly into it. Now's the time to relax, readjust, and attack again. A big draw looming here in the offensive zone. The Oilers win it. Quick feed to McDavid. Let's it fly. They score. Good effort onto the puck to get into the zone clean and then set it up and are able to cash in. He drops into the butterfly to try and take away as much of the net as he can, but the shooter's got enough time to find some room. He sees it, and he doesn't miss. The Oilers have been all over them tonight, and it continues here in this third. They haven't taken their foot off the accelerator for one second tonight. I've been really impressed how they've dominated this game. Fair stick handling in his own zone. Moves it up through the middle from the right. San Jose's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it to Carlson. Edmonton's got the puck in their own end. Vlasic's tripped up and the official's hand is in the air, signaling penalty. Here's a short pass to Hurdle. And now he passes up to Kane. And the puck stopper tags his man to get the extra attacker on the ice. Moves it quickly over to Kane. And that's broken up. From the slot, wrist shot, and that's off the iron. Here comes the official's call. So often in a, in a shifty little play that you're trying to get to the puck, you get your stick in the wrong spot, he steps on your stick, and there's nothing you can do. This one-sided affair finally nearing the end. Good clearing attempt to breathe. The Sharks have it behind the net. Moves the puck. The Oilers will kill off a few extra seconds now. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. San Jose's gained possession along the boards. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Quick pass to Cahoon. On the attack along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Bear. A chance! Gets in front of it. Have you met Lord Stanley? Well, you're about to hear as they are about to win the most coveted prize in hockey. The centermen glide into position. No harder 
better trophy to win in sports than the Stanley Cup, and they're doing it. Every time I see the players celebrate, I can't help but feel a little jealousy for the fact that they got to run through the final stage. They deserve the trophy, and I never got to lift it. I look at them and I go, man, you guys have accomplished everything. Still one of my favorite traditions in all of sports here, Ray. It's a fantastic way to wrap up a series. It's an amazing way that the players show respect to each other. And this is the true wrap-up of this Stanley Cup final. There he is, the best player of the postseason. What a run, and there's your Conn Smythe winner. You go up, you get congratulations, you get the trophy, but you really want to be back with your teammates as quick as you can. Just sheer joy down on the ice. You're at ice level. You're on the ice here right now, Ray. What are you seeing? Everybody's focused on the trophy about to be presented, but it's everybody else on the ice that I see. They're hugging on to each other. There's tears in their eyes. Everything they dreamed about is now coming to fruition. Amazing. Oh, and they get to take the tour with the championship. I can't even imagine what that feeling must be like. What an amazing accomplishment to win. And it must be such relief to get your hands on the trophy to realize this is it. This is what I played for. The team picture, this was something that 99 started, did he not? Yeah, I believe it was his last year in Edmonton where they won, called everybody together. What an unreal photo to have. 